Mayor Ken Boschkoff has decided to pursue provincial strong mayor powers despite opposition from city council. It happened at last night's meeting where Boschkoff confirmed he would be submitting the required documents to receive the powers, including a commitment to a provincial housing goal. City Hall reporter Vasilios Bellos is following the story and joins us live in studio. Vasilios? Thanks, Mitch. The vote finished 9-4 against the strong mayor powers, though it was largely symbolic, with Boschkov able to proceed as he wished. There were some harsh words against strong mayor powers, with some not seeing the connection to housing, and others calling it destructive to local democracy. Strong opposition from many city councillors at Monday's meeting regarding provincial strong mayor powers wasn't enough to change Mayor Ken Boschkov's direction. See this as legislation that is quite destructive to local democracies. The need uh, for the strong mayor powers, so I will file the letters tomorrow. Council voted 9-4 against Boschkov pursuing strong mayor powers, though he didn't need their support to move ahead. In an interview after the meeting, Boschkov confirmed he'd be submitting the required documents on Tuesday, which includes a commitment to see 2,200 new housing units built in the city by 2031 with provincial funding attached to achieving new builds. Some of the powers Boshkov will receive include the ability to fire and hire the city manager, passing or vetoing bylaws with just one-third of council support, and proposing his own budget subject to council amendments. How is firing a city manager going to build a house? How could someone with no background in finance present a half a billion dollar budget contribute to building a house? Housing target is separate from the strong mayor's power. Councillor Brian Hamilton feared the vulnerability it puts on the office of the mayor, with outside groups now able to lobby just one person on council. Potentially you could have, uh, you know, the loudest, um, you know, player on, on in the playground uh, basically running the city. And, and to me, that's very, very frightening. Those who supported strong mayor powers include councillors Aiello, Agarwal and Gertuga. Agarwal stressed the importance of strong mayor powers, believing if the city could have solved the housing crisis by itself, it would have done so by now. We need to do whatever we can, or we're going to have more people on the streets, more people in tents. Housing prices are not based on anything other than supply and demand. And some of our rents are outrageous only because there's no supply. I, I just expected more from council. As for the mayor... Boshkov stated after the meeting he was surprised with how the vote turned out. Boshkov still believes a strong mayor system is crucial if the city wants to keep up with housing for the expected mining boom. We want to send a signal that we're, we want to be the mining capital and that uh, we want those families to stay here. So why council would be opposed to that, I don't get it. It's a democratic process and so uh, at least I have some alternatives. Vicilios Bellos. TBT News.